Recently, I created an attendance sheet for one of my clients. Though I have created many types of tailored attendance sheets, but this one was different as I created such format for the very first time. The requirement of the client was to create such an attendance sheet which should work for different regions means East, West, North and South. Different regions will have different holidays and few holidays will be common too. Even the employees of various regions will be different. And the client wanted to manage all the holidays and employee list just by selecting the region from the drop down. Let's dive in Excel and see how can we create one. This video is going to be long but believe me, it's worth watching. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. On the top, I have got month and year and after that, start date and end date. I have got week offs over here, Saturday and Sunday and this week offs will be managed by your choice. In case you want to keep only Sunday as your week off, just select none from the drop down and only Sundays will be highlighted. In case you want to select any other day as your week off, just click on the drop down and select the desired day and desired day will be highlighted. In case you want to keep it none, select none from here and none of the days will be highlighted. Let's keep Sunday as of now. Over here we have got our holidays and holidays will be automatically highlighted once the month changes. We are in the west region and 1st of January is holiday. When I'll do it east, there's no holiday on 1st of January in east region. If I'll do it north, we can see holidays on 14th and 15th also. And whenever the region will be changed, employee list will change automatically. In north, I have got employees from employee number 141 to 160. When I'll do it south, I have got employees from 161 to 180. And when I'll do it east, I have got employees from 101 to 120. I'll come to right hand side. In right hand side, I have got total present, absent, PL, SL, holidays and week offs. For 12 months, I have got 12 sheets. And in the end, I have got annual, means consolidated. Whenever the entry will be done in the months, it will automatically feature in annual. To create this sheet, I'll need some data. And the data will be holiday list of all the regions, employee details of all the regions. Let's start creating a new sheet now. This is a blank sheet where we are going to create our format. I'll click over here. This will be month and year. Start and end date, region, holidays, week offs. I'll click just in front of month and year. Over here, we will create drop down for months. We'll go to data, data validation. From here, I'll select list, source. Over here, I'll type name of the months manually from January to December. And I'll do OK. So the drop down for months got created. I'll select January. Over here, we will create drop down for years. We'll go to data, data validation. From here, I'll select list, source. I'll type years over here from 2024 till 2030 and I'll do OK. So the drop down for years got created. Week offs. We will create drop down over here. I'll select both the cells. We'll go to data, data validation. From here, I'll select list, source. Over here, I'll type name of the weekdays. But in the very beginning, I'll type none. And I'll do OK. So the drop down for week offs got created. I'll select none. And over here also, I'll select none. Now I'll select both the cells. We'll go to home, conditional formatting. And from here, I'll select highlight cell rule equal to, and I'll type none. We'll click on the drop down, customized format. We'll go to fill. And from here, I'll select blue color. Font, font color will also be blue. And I'll do OK. OK. So whenever it will be none, nothing will be visible. But whenever we will select any day, it will be highlighted in red. I'll click over here and we'll insert the icon of drop down. Over here, I'll select down and I'll select down arrow key. We'll close this. We'll remove one icon. Start and end date. Formula for start date will be plus or equal to date value, bracket open, double inverted comma one, double inverted comma close, and I'll select month and I'll select year. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So we got 1st Jan over here. Now we have to insert the formula for end date and the formula will be plus or equal to EO month means end of the month bracket token. We have to provide start date and our start date is over here, comma, months. In months, we will put zero bracket close and I'll hit enter. So we got 1st Jan and 31st Jan. Whenever we will change the month, February, we got 1st of Feb and 29th of Feb. I'll do it January, region. For region, we will create drop down. We will go to data, 
data validation. From here, I'll select list, source, east, comma, west, comma, north, comma, south. And I'll do OK. So the drop-down list got created. I'll select east. This will be serial number, employee code, employee name, designation, department. I'll put serial numbers manually. I'll drag it down. Over here, we will insert our dates. For first date, I'll just do plus or equal to. We'll click on first date and we'll hit enter. And we got first Jan. Now I'll click just next to first date and our formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open first date is smaller than last date, I'll press function F4 and the cell will be logged. Comma, first date plus one, comma, double inverted comma twice for blank. I'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. I got a random figure over here. I'll click on the figure. We'll press Ctrl-1. We'll go to date and we'll select a desired date format and we'll do OK. So our second date is over here now. Now we will insert the formula for days and the formula will be plus or equal to text bracket open. We will select first date from here, comma, double inverted comma, DDD means D three times, double inverted comma close, bracket close and we will hit enter. And our first date is visible now. I'll right click this. We'll select second date and second day and we'll drag this till end. So we got 31st Jan as last date. When I'll change the month, I'll do it February. I'll come to right hand side. And in the end, after 29th, nothing is visible. We'll come to left and we'll do it January. I'll click on top. This will be attendance sheet 2024. I'll come to right. This will be total present. This will be total absent, total PL, total SL, total CL, total week offs, total holidays. Code for total present will be P, for absent it will be A, total PL it will be PL as code, total SL, SL will be as code, for this it will be CL, WO and H for holidays. I'll come to left, we'll click just on the first day and we'll select till last, we'll select till 31st means till end of the month, we'll go to data, data validation. From here, I'll select list, source. I'll go to right hand side and we'll select all the codes and we'll do OK. So my drop down list got created. I'll come to left and we'll select my data once again. We'll go to home, conditional formatting, highlight cell rule equal to and over here, I'll type P. We'll click on the drop down, customize format, fill, I'll click on the drop down and we'll select green color, font, font color as white and we'll do OK. OK, conditional formatting, highlight cell rule equal to, I'll type A, we'll click on the drop down, customize format, fill, I'll select red color, font, font color as white and we'll do OK. OK, in the same way, I'll highlight all my codes. So all the leave codes got highlighted. I'll go to data once again, data validation, and I'll change my range from here. I'll just select from P till CL and do OK. So our dropdown list got created and it got highlighted also. I'll delete this. I'll come to left. We'll click just on the first day. We'll select till bottom and till 31st. We'll come to left. Now we are going to highlight our week offs. We'll go to home, conditional formatting, new rule, from here, I'll select classic. I'll click on the drop down and we'll select use a formula to determine which cells to format. And our formula will be plus or equal to. I'll click on first day of the month. We'll remove the first dollar from here. Is equal to. We are going to manage our week offs from here. So I'll click on first day. We'll click on the drop down. Customized format. Fill. From here, I'll select red color. Font. Font color as white. And we'll do OK. OK. So all the Saturdays got highlighted. I'll go to conditional formatting once again, new rule. From here, I'll select classic. And from the dropdown, I'll select use a formula to determine which cells to format. And the formula will be same, plus or equal to. We'll click on the first day. We'll remove the first dollar. Is equal to, we'll click on second day from here. We'll click on the dropdown, customized format, fill. We'll click on the dropdown and we'll select red color. Font, font color as white and we'll do OK. OK. So our Saturdays and Sundays got highlighted. In case I'll do it none 
only Sunday is highlighted. And if I'll do none over here also, none of the days are highlighted. As of now, let's keep Saturday and Sunday. Let's put some present and absence over here. I'll come to right and we'll insert the formulas over here. Total present, the formula will be plus or equal to count if bracket open. I'll come to left and we'll click on first employee. We'll select till end. We'll press function F4 three times, comma. We'll click on code of total present. We'll press function F4 two times. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So we got one present over here. I drag this down. We'll come to right and we'll drag this till total CL. We'll press control one. We'll go to custom. We'll remove general from here and we'll put has semicolon has semicolon dash or minus and we'll do OK. So all the zeros got converted to dash. Total week offs. Formula for total week offs will be plus or equal to count if bracket open. We'll come to left and we'll click on first day and we'll select the last day of the month. We'll press function F4 and the cells will be logged. Comma. We'll come to left. Our week offs will be managed from here. So I'll click over here. We'll press function F4 and the cell will be logged. Bracket close plus I'll copy my formula, control C or command C and we'll paste over here. We'll delete the last cell reference. We'll go to left side and we'll click on second week off. We'll press function F4 and we'll hit enter. So we got eight week offs. I'll drag this down. Total holidays. The formula will be plus or equal to count if bracket open. We'll come to left. We are going to insert our holidays over here. So I'll click over here and we'll select the last date. We'll press function F4 and the cells will be logged. Comma, double inverted comma, question mark, star, double inverted comma, close, bracket close and I'll hit enter. Currently we can see zero because there's no holiday right now. I'll drag this down. I'll come to left. Now we will insert our employee codes over here. So I'll go to my employee details. In employee details, I have got employee list of east, west, north and south. So in the very beginning, we will have to compile the data or consolidate the data. We'll come to write employee code plus or equal to V stacks bracket open RA1. We'll come to left side and we'll select employee data of east region. We'll select few extra rows, comma, RA2, employee list of waste, comma, employee list of north, comma, we'll come to right and we'll select employee list of south. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So our employee list got consolidated. We'll click on first employee, we'll go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of sort. Bracket open, we'll come to the end, we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So all the zeros got vanished. Over here, it's written filter list Jan. I'll remove Jan, filtered list. I'll unmerge this. We'll come to January sheet. We'll click on first employee code, plus or equal to filter, bracket open, RA. We will go to employee details. We'll come to right and we'll click on employee code from top. We'll press function F4 and the cells will be logged. Comma, include. What we want to include? We want to include the region. So I'll click over here. We'll press function F4 and the cells will be logged is equal to. I'll come to January sheet and we'll click on East. We'll press function F4 and the cells will be logged. I'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So our employee codes are over here now. In East region, I have got employee codes from 101 till 120. When I'll do it waste, employee codes got changed. I'll keep it East. Employee name plus or equal to VLOOKUP bracket open lookup value employee code will be our lookup value comma table ra we will go to employee details we'll come to right and we'll select employee details from here we will select from employee code till department we'll press function f4 and the sales will be logged comma we want employee name so employee name is in column number two so we will put two over here comma zero bracket close and i'll hit enter so we got first employee name over here. We'll go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of if error. If error bracket open, come to the end, comma, double inverted comma twice for blank, bracket close and we will hit enter. I'll go to formula bar once again and in lookup value, which is C7, I'll put dollar. We'll hit enter. Now I'll drag this to designation and department. 
in designation in department we can see employee 1 employee 1 so we will have to change the column index number or column number this will be 3 enter and this will be 4 enter now i'll select both and we'll drag this down now whenever the region will change all the things will change automatically perfect i'll select this once again we'll go to conditional formatting new rule from here i'll select classic from the drop down i'll select use a formula to determine which cells to format we'll come to left plus or equal to i'll click on first date we'll remove the first dollar from here is equal to double inverted comma twice for blank we are going to highlight our month end and for month end we have used blank i'll click on the drop down customize format fill from here i'll select red color font font color as white and we'll do okay okay so in the month of jan we can see dates till 31st and when i'll change the month i'll do it february let's come to right after 29th it's blank and it got highlighted in red i'll come to left so mostly all the things are done only holiday list is pending i'll do it january we'll go to my holiday list over here we have to do it consolidated plus or equal to v stack bracket open ra1 holiday list of east will be our ra1 comma west comma north comma south we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we'll click on the very first cell we'll go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of sort bracket open we'll come to the end we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so our consolidated list is ready now but we will have to create filtered list over here we will create filter list for dates plus or equal to filter bracket open ra so date will be ra i'll click on top we'll press function f4 and the cell will be logged comma include what we have to include we have to include region so i'll click over here we'll press function f4 and the cell will be logged is equal to i'll go to january sheet and we'll click on the region we'll press function f4 and the cell will be logged we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so our filtered list for date got created and this filtered list is for january now we will create the filter list for holidays plus or equal to filter bracket open ra holiday names will be our ra this time we'll press function f4 and the cell will be logged comma include we will include the region over here we'll press function f4 and the cell will be logged is equal to we will go to january sheet and we'll click on east we'll press function f4 and the cell will be logged we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so we got filter list of january and this is for east region because we have selected east in the month of january when we will do it west this filter list got changed we are not going to create rest of the filtered list right now we will have to create the sheet for months and currently we have got only for january we'll click over here plus or equal to v lookup bracket open date will be our lookup value comma table ra we will go to holiday list and we'll select first filter list from top we'll press function f4 comma column index number or column number so holidays are in column number two we will put two over here comma zero we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so we got new year day or new year now we will go to formula bar and we'll insert the criteria of if error if error bracket open we'll come to the end comma double inverted comma twice for blank we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter before dragging we will select this we'll come to left we'll go to conditional formatting new rule from here we will select classic and from the drop down we will select use a formula to determine which cells to format and our formula will be plus or equal to we will click on very first holiday we'll remove the first dollar from here not equal to for not equal to we will put smaller than greater than double inverted comma twice for blank when it will not be blank we want to highlight this we'll click on the drop down customize format fill from here i'll select yellow color font font color as black and we'll do okay okay so our new year day got highlighted now i'll copy the formula control c or command c we'll come to right we'll select this the last date of the month we'll right click the mouse test special formulas and all the formulas got pasted over here. We'll go to conditional formatting once again. Manage rule. We'll click on the rule. Edit rule. 
we'll click on customize format from here i'll go to border and we'll select borders and we'll do okay 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 so whenever it will be any holiday brackets will be inserted automatically now i'll come to left we'll click just under first day and we'll select the last date of the month we'll come to left conditional formatting new rule from here i'll select classic and from the drop down i'll select use of formula to determine which cells to format and the formula will be plus or equal to we'll click on first holiday we'll remove first dollar not equal to for not equal to we will put smaller than greater than not equal to blank for blank we will put double inverted comma twice we will click on drop down customize format we'll go to fill from here we will select blue color and font font color as white and we'll do okay okay so all our holidays got highlighted in blue over here and name of the holidays got highlighted in yellow now we will create 12 sheet for 12 months and we'll connect our holidays and to connect holidays we will have to update our filtered list i'll click on january we'll press alt and we'll drag this to plus sign and my duplicate sheet got created in the same way i'll create 12 sheet for 12 months and one sheet for annual i'll come to left this is january this will be february we'll change the month from here this will be march we'll change the month march and we'll do the same thing till december in annual we will delete this we'll delete all the formulas we'll delete this we'll go to home and we'll merge it now we will select this we'll go to home and we'll change the orientation or alignment format cell alignment we'll take this in mid or we'll take this to zero and we'll do okay we'll select this and we'll adjust the column size we'll select this and we'll unmerge it we'll copy this and we'll paste over here control v command v now we can delete this we'll increase the column size we'll select all and we'll merge together we'll put borders this will be consolidated we'll increase the font size we'll click over here and we'll take all the things in mid and center total present formula will be plus or equal to sum bracket open we will go to january we'll come to right and we'll click on present of first employee we'll press shift and we'll click on december we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now we will drag this to bottom and we'll drag this to right so all the sheets got connected now we will come to left and we will click on holiday list we'll come to right now we have to create the filter list for rest of the months we will copy for two cells control c or command c and we'll paste over here our active formula is sitting in first cells only we'll paste in all the months we are creating 12 filter list for 12 months we'll come to left we had already connected january we'll click on february dates we'll remove january cell reference from here we'll click on february and we'll click on waste we we'll press function f4 and the cells will be logged we'll hit enter in holidays name also we are going to delete this we'll go to february and we'll click on waste we'll press function f4 and we'll hit enter for rest of the months we are going to do the same thing so all the filtered list got connected now now let's come to february we'll click on our first holiday we'll go to formula bar and we'll delete our ra range we'll go to holiday list and we'll select the filter list of february we will select from top we'll press function f4 and the cells will be logged and we'll hit enter we'll copy the formula control c or command c and we'll select till last date we'll right click the mouse paste special formulas we'll press escape so our holidays got connected with holiday list of february now we will come to march we'll click on first holiday of march we'll go to our formula bar we'll delete the ra range we'll go to holidays list and we'll select the filter list of march we'll press function f4 and the cells will be logged we'll hit enter we'll copy our formula control c or command c we'll come to right and we'll select our data till last date of the month we'll right click the mouse press special formulas and in the same way we will do the changes till december So all the months got connected with holiday list and our format is ready now. 
I'll provide link of this file in description box. In case you want to download, you can. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.